Hello there! So it is day 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 already! And today we're going to learn about back bending. The back bending sequence is really great for your back and also for your chest. So let us begin. We start first on our hands and knees. We're going to do a couple rounds of cat count so that we can awaken our spine, make it fluid, ready for some back bend. Yes. So remember, hand is shoulder width apart, spread your finger, press your fingertips down. Knee is hip width apart, calves are parallel, point your toes away, press the top of your feet down. Inhale to cow, lift your tailbone, release your back down, open your chest, shoulders back, and exhale to cow. Ground your back, press strongly on your arms, release your shoulder blade here, look toward your belly. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat, relax your face, rounding down cat. Inhale to count. And you're saying here for three. Breathe now, two. Remember always the breathe leading the movement. Two, one. Exhale and round yourself strongly. Squeeze your belly in, press the ears out. Breathe in here, three, two, one. Now inhale here. And exhale slowly, sit on your heel. Now, as we are going to learn back bending today, and in back bend, it's important to warm up certain places of our body. The first part is the shoulders, so we are going to do a couple of shoulder opener, and after that, we need to open this part, the hip flexor, and we also need some core strength. So let's start first with opening the shoulders. Now, inhale, you reach your right arms up, and exhale, you bring it down and the left arm it creates this nice wrapping like this behind your back we we'll take some breath here and feel the nice openness of the shoulders three two one inhale let's reach away let's change side reach it up then and reach both Fingers, if your finger cannot touch, that's fine. Just keep reaching and keep sitting tall and keep your neck straight. So avoid bending like this. Keep a really straight neck and breathe. Three, two, one. Now inhale, let's bring your right arms in front of you and use the left arm to bring it. Bring your right arm to your left. Gazing forward, very simple stretch, very, very effective. Feeling the nice stretch running outside your shoulders. Two, meanwhile, don't forget to breathe. One, inhale in here and let's change side. Bring your left arm to your right, sitting tall, belly squeezed in. Remember the top of your head is reaching to the sky. Two, one. Now this one is a good stretch here. Your right arm is up. And then at the top, use the left hand, touch the top of your elbow. The other one. Your right palm is touched right below your neck. And then we're going to bring the arms in. Three, it's really nice. It kind of hurts so good. <laughs> Two, one. Open the other side, bend this elbow, left elbow. Use the right palm, bring it in. Open your shoulders here. Keep the straight neck though, keep sitting tall. Two, one, now inhale in here, exhale to table. Now we're going to remember, we're going to lift from table to down dog. And the correct distance between the hands and the feet in down dog is the correct distance between the hands and the feet in table. 90 degree here, 90 degree here. So you simply need to just tuck in your toes, inhale. And press your hands away, press your hands away, bring your head between your arms. And here, first down dog of the day, we can keep paddling the feet. So paddle your feet from side to side. Don't feel like you have to paddle very fast as we are not riding a bicycle here. We're just opening our hamstring. Oh, relax your face. Relax your neck. You can feel then even sway your hip from side to side, feeling the nice awakening of the side of the body. Many of you practice early in the morning. Well, we need to notice and allow our body to just open a little bit of time. No need to worry. Two, 
one. Inhale, you step your feet close to your hand. And exhale as you lower your hips down. Now inhale, you roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. The neck come to the last. And as you come to the top, you roll your shoulder back and down. Good. Your palms facing forward. Take a big inhale here. Take a big exhale here. Fantastic. Inhale and swipe your arms out and run up. You touch the palm at the top. Exhale, bring the palm to your chest. Inhale, slowly palms from your chest all the way above your head. Exhale, you dive down, dive down with straight leg and flat back. Straight leg, flat back, dive down. Bend your knee when you need to so that you don't compromise on your lower back. And release your head. Inhale, slowly squeeze your belly in here, lengthen your leg, lengthen your spine, the top of your head is reaching forward, and exhale, you bend both legs, lift the right leg, keep it high up in the air, and then slowly bring it down, and bring your right knee down, point your right toes away, flat the right feet. Inhale, touch your hip, exhale, I want you to try to Bring your hips forward, forward, forward. Many of my students keep high like this, but then you cannot open your hip flexor. You need to hip, bring your hips forward, forward, forward. Meanwhile, point the back toes away. Stabilize your back knee. Bring it forward. You can bend a little bit more the front knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Inhale, lift your feet back. Two. Nice plank here. Remember, don't do this banana pose. There's no banana pose in, in yoga. And don't do this inverted banana pose. It's really not good for your back. And you want to squeeze your belly in. Bring your shoulders right on top of your wrist. Straight your leg. And exhale. Knee down. Chest down. Between hand, toes down. Inhale. Open your chest here. Open your chest. Look at this nice posture, cobra pose, one of the back bend, yeah? So when we back bend, a lot of the things that we need to crunch our lower back, but this is not the truth. The truth is in back bend, we actually bend from the mid back, the mid back, so the upper back is bending. And in order to bend the upper back, we need to be opening the chest, right? Open the chest. So instead of focusing on crunching your back, Focus on open your chest a whole lot here. Focusing on rolling your shoulder back in now so that you can bring your chest to the sky. You got three, two, one, exhale. Now, inhale to the table. Exhale to a down dog. We're doing sun salutation now. Remember that day three, right? Salute the sun. Inhale, you lengthen. Both sides of your body, you press strongly on your mat, lengthen both sides of your body, lift your hips, flat your lower back. Exhale, you can slowly bring your heels toward the floor, but there's no pressure to touch the floor at all. Inhale, you bring your right knee in and place it between your hand, but if you cannot reach your hand, you can always heel toes. It kind of look funny. It's fun. <laughs> and release. Your left knee down, point your left toes away. Inhale, hips here. Exhale, bring your hips forward and down, forward and down, forward and down. Feel the nice opening of the hip flexor, nice opening of the quadricep muscle. Inhale, reach. Open your body, exhale, down. Inhale, then slide the left leg up in the air. Exhale, bring it back. Feet, hip width apart, feet parallel. And inhale to straight leg, flat back. Right, exhale to forward fold. And you're ready to roll, roll yourself up. And roll your shoulders. And open your chest, palms facing up. Take an inhale here. Take an exhale. Let's do another round of sun salutation and we all are going to go through another nice back bend. Now inhale, swipe your arms out. Exhale, touch your palm. Inhale, palms all the way up. Exhale to dive forward with straight leg, flat back, flat back, flat back, and then bend the knee at the end when you need to. Inhale, and straight your leg, flat your back. 
Exhale, left leg fly out. And slowly, slowly, slowly with a lot of control. Release the left knee down. Release the hips down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale to lower. Nice. Inhale to plank. Remember our plank. Squeeze your belly in. Squeeze your thighs in. Exhale to knee down. Bend the elbow. Chest down. Chins down. Inhale. Now, we're in a cobra here. Press your feet down. Press your feet down. Lift your knee out from the ground even. But press your feet down. Squeeze your belly in. Roll your shoulder back and down. I want you to try roll your shoulder back and down and I want you to try lift your chest without pressing on the hand. And staying in here. Three, two, one. Exhale. And let's rest a bit. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. Now again, press your feet down. Remember to relax your butt. Remember to press your small, your pinky toes out so that you can kind of open your hips here. Roll your shoulder down. Take an inhale, bring your chest high up, as high as you can, and then continue to exhale, inhale, sorry, inhale to press your hand down, inhale to press your hand down, exhale to stay here, inhale to press your hand down, open your chest a bit more, remember your, the cap of your pants actually on the mat, right, open your chest here, you should be aware of your lower back, if the lower back feels pain, then you should back off, right, Open your chest, roll your shoulder back and down, open chest, open chest, open your chest, gaze upwards, Just breathe with me, three, two, one, now as you exhale, softly exhale, take an inhale to your table, now this time we're going to lower down to child's pose, lower your hips all the way toward your heels, relax your forehead down. One deep breath, inhale, exhale, now inhale to table, exhale to down dog, inhale, left leg forward, leg between hands, release, right knee down, point the right toes away, bring your hips down and forward, good, inhale, reach up, Feel the opposite force here is the force coming down, rounding down to the earth and the force reaching high up to the sky through your hands. Exhale. Hands down. Inhale, lift up, right leg. Bend your knee, bring it back. Use your core muscle. I know it might be hard, but it's helped to challenge us. Feet parallel now, feet hip with the board. Inhale. Straight leg, flat back, exhale, and fold. You can always bend the knee at the end to help with your fold. Inhale, roll yourself up. Roll your shoulder up the top, exhale. Good, take an inhale here. Take an exhale here. Inhale, swipe your arms up. Touch your palm, exhale, squat down, squat down. And come to sit on our knee. I want to introduce you to a really great back bend chest opening. I actually like to call this sequence a chest opening sequence because back then like us think that we have to crunch our back. But actually the purpose of back bending is to open your front body, right? Open your front body, everything, your sternum, your chest, your ribs, just everything open wide so that we can um, increase the space within our trunk and so that we can breathe as deeply as possible not to crunch the lower back at all. Now, in camel pose, I want you to place your hand right on your sacrum. I want you to practice lifting your hips and lower. So, lifting your tailbone here is where we're kind of compressing the lower back, right? We're lifting our tailbone away. And as we lower our tailbone, we lengthen our lower back. We bring our pubic bone forward, lengthen our lower back, and we want to be like this. Again, your knee has to be hip width apart and you kind of have to feel that you are turning your, your thighs inside so that you can open your hips. There are space then for your lower back to go so that you will not hurt your lower back, you will not hurt your sacrum. Good. This is the posture. So 
First, I want you to try to place your hand below your lower back, so on your sacrum, on this part. Now you can place your hand like this. Now, you know, your elbow is magnetized towards each other at the back. Roll your shoulder back and down. Take an inhale here. You can flatten your toes or lift up to you, whatever that feels more stable. Take an inhale here. Exhale as you press your hips forward. Press your hips forward. You should not feel any pain. Inhale to open your chest. Exhale. Maybe you stay here. You gaze up to the sky. Maybe you feel comfortable. You can release your neck. Three, two, one. Inhale. Bring your chest forward and then the head is the last thing to come. Exhale. Good. If you need to repeat that one once more just to get it, just feel free to go back and repeat it. Now we're going to move to the second version of camel pose. So lift your heels and tucking in your toes. We are going to go at first one hand. Remember this movement, right? Pubic bone forward, tailbones down. Open your hips here. Inhale, reach your right arm. Exhale, wrap it outside of your right ankle. Left one, inhale, reach. Exhale, wrap it outside your left ankle. Inhale to open your chest here. Open your chest, relax your butt. Exhale, release your head. And if you don't feel comfortable releasing your head, you can just keep gazing up to the sky. Three, Relax, you should not feel any pain whatsoever on the lower back. You should feel really relaxed. Each time you inhale, you feel like you are opening your chest, open your chest. Two, one. Inhale, bring yourself forward. And exhale, let's lower down, let's lower down to a nice chai's bow. Chai's bow is a really great posture after all the back bending. So take an inhale, take an exhale, another one, inhale, and just really enjoy this. You can even smile on your face like me. Exhale, go about, having fun, really enjoy the process. Inhale, hold yourself. And now, we bring both legs forward. We need to stabilize our low back after all this bending. So flex your feet in, pressing down with your hands, a staff pose, the top of your head reaching forward, lengthen through the spine, sitting tall, a serious 90 degree with my upper body and my lower body here. And my back is super flat, squeeze your belly in. Inhale here. And open your chest, exhale as you bring your chest forward, 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 you place your hand on your calf. Just bring your chest forward, remember, none of these. No good, no good. Yes? You want to bring your chest forward, you want to bring your shoulders back, you want to move. Think about chest moving forward instead of head moving to the calf. No need for these two to touch, but the chest is moving forward is critical. Relax in here. Use your breath. Each time you exhale, it's time to explore a little bit more. Each time you inhale, it's the time for you to lengthen your spine a little bit more. You stay in here. Five, four, three, two, great guys. One. Inhale. Come high, exhale, and you can lower down. Now, as you lie down, now you bring your arms outside, inhale, bring both knee up, squeeze your knee together, and exhale. As you bring, keep your knee squeezed in, you lower both knee to your left, look toward your right, relax. Bring your right shoulders down. Breathe in here. Keeping the, the knee together, create a nice a stretch. I can feel really clearly the nice twisting on your spine. Two, one. Inhale, let's bring them both to center. And exhale, squeeze them in and then lower them. 
Lower your left shoulders down. You can place your right palms on both knees. And just let it be. Lengthen your spine. Smile in your face. Inhale. And place your hands on your knees. Roll. Relax and release anything that we, we might have, any strain that we, we might have caused our sacrum and our love bike. And giving love, giving love to different parts of our body. Alright. Okay, we're going to do this. Massage your sacrum, massage your love bike. And then lengthen both legs. Lengthen your body. Palms next to you. Time to just take a moment, tune in. Soften everywhere on the top of your head, all the way to your toes. Listen to the quietness, enjoying the silence, understanding that even when you're quiet in silence, your body is constantly working for you, your heart, your lung, your trillions and trillions of cells in your body, feeling grateful. As a gift. Mm. Feel the softness of your eye, the softness of your eyebrows, your forehead. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. Open your chest and leave your toes in the air. Open different parts of your body. Reach your arms overhead if you want to. Lengthen your entire body in your lap. Exhale. So turn to your right and sit up. Sit up. Sitting tall, cross your leg. Hmm. Relax your face. Take an inhale with me, I take an exhale. Inhale, arms out, touch overhead. Open chest, exhale, hold by your chest. Have a really great day. Thank you for joining me on day eight. I see you tomorrow on day nine.